I believe I am an overcomer because of overcoming statistics. Latinos have the highest dropout rate and a fairly high teen pregnancy rate. Here I am, 17, and a junior in high school, striving to get my high school diploma. I won't stop after high school. There is still art school to complete to pursue my dreams of being a photographer. My grandma was a teen mom at the age of 15. My mom was a teen mom at the age of 16. In society's eyes, I'm another teen moments away from being pregnant. It's not gonna happen to me. I'm writing you to tell you personally what I have overcome in my life. When I was in junior high, I had anger issues, and I strongly believe it was affecting my everyday life. My grades plummeted, my aspirations faded, and I lost my awareness of God. People began considering me demonic or gothic, and rightfully so. My peers and my teachers knew there was something wrong. Since the beginning of this school year, I've gotten control of my anger, and I have really thrived academically. My new reputation is my dedication and my intelligence, but I know that if I hadn't relied on God to overcome my problems, I probably wouldn't be here today. The number one thing City Baptist has helped me in is in my attitude. My father's death was a great turning point in my life. This summer, unexpectedly, God took my father to heaven. He was a great man, and I admire him for that. This situation not only made me more appreciative of what I have in life, but it also provoked me to change my attitude towards God. I now have a better understanding of the Bible, and suddenly it has become real in my life. God always has a purpose in what He does. My teacher, Ms. Walkup, has helped me too. I don't think she knows, but with the Bible lessons and her explaining or teaching the Bible has helped me. City Baptist has been a great encouragement for me. This school is more than a school to me. It's like a guide to a better future. The teachers love us, and when they say it, they actually mean it, and you could tell they really mean it. Sir, I just wanted to make sure that you, the teachers, and maybe some other people know how helpful City Baptist has been in my life. When I first came to City Baptist, my family and I had just arrived to the United States. I had many struggles in my life, but by the grace of God, and with the help of City Baptist, I overcame many obstacles. Even though I struggled with my language barrier in my early years, you didn't give up on me, and you gave me hope. You made me see that I could do something with my life. I kept this in mind, and with the help of dedicated people, I made it to graduation day. I did not only graduate from high school, but did it as valedictorian. You all do make a difference. I would like to say that I am living proof of that. In 2001, my dad died in a car accident. It was hard on our family. I'm the fifth oldest in our family, and uh, it's hard for me because uh, there's no one in my household to show me the right way. There's no one in my household to show me God's way. At home, it's, it's tough for me to try and read my Bible and pray because uh, I'm surrounded by the things of the world. I don't have anyone there to say, hey, you, you shouldn't do, don't do what I do. My brothers, they mock me because I go to Christian school. They make fun of me because I go to church. But it's okay because uh, Jesus Christ got mocked too and I'm where I'm at today because of that. My grandmother, she, she's faithful to our church. She helps me, she, she talked to my pastor and they put me in a uh, City Baptist. It was the best school I could ever go to. It's um, City Baptist, a school for bus kids. It helped me overcome everything in my life. It helped me overcome that I don't have a father figure at home. I come to a school where the teacher just don't say I love you. They, they show it. They mean it. I feel love when I go to a school like this because I, I really have overcome. My, my grandmother even told me, like, there's something different about you. There's something about that school that changed your life. And this school means the world to me. It's City Baptist Overcomers. I used to ask myself, what is an overcomer? I don't get what an overcomer is. And then um, Mr. Vogel, he told me that um, an overcomer is somebody who overcomes the obstacles that's put in your life. They don't give up, they keep going. He said, like your situation, at home, your brothers, they drink, but you don't. That's an overcomer. You get up in the morning, you walk to school, that's an overcomer. Not everybody who calls themselves an overcomer is an overcomer. I've overcome the world, the flesh, and the devil. 
by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ.